Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to give you guys some Dragon Ball Z news. Now, like I promised you last time, I would inform you if there was any updates on the Dragon Ball Z 2015 movie. And there's actually an extended teaser trailer. So, I'm going to show you that real soon. But before I do that, I'm going to read the article for you guys. And then I'll show it to you in the bottom left-hand corner. So, and the article is going to be right in front of you. And the link is going to be in the box below on AnimeNewsNetwork.com. So, three, two, one, go. The official website for the 2015 Dragon Ball Z film posted an extended teaser trailer Wednesday. The footage in the teaser previously aired on Fuji TV's morning program, Mizamashi TV, on Tuesday. And there's actual text in the trailer, and the text goes... Number one, the entire universe eagerly awaits. Number two, the original concept, scripts, character designs. Number three, Akira Toriyama, obviously. So meaning that the original concepts, scripts, and character designs are created by Akira Toriyama. Duh. Number four, is Shenlong actually speaking? Now, say your wish. I will grant you any one wish only. Number five, text. There's someone I want you to revive. Number six, Shenlong responds. Your wish has been granted. Number seven, obviously, the worst wish in history. Now despair begins. Finally, Dragon Ball manga creator Akira Toyama is personally credited with the original concept, screenplay, and character designs of the new movie that the entire universe eagerly waits, quote-unquote. The movie will open during the Golden Week string of holidays next spring, and a recent flyer revealed the Dragon Ball Z animation director... Tadayoshi Yamamaru will direct a new movie. The new film, like last year's Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, will tell a new story. So according to the end of the article, it's a whole new story. Now, this to me throws me off. Why? Because initially, it was this whole creating of universes and expanding upon that. That's what the Battle of Gods established. How there were other, how there are multiple universes. They basically made the Dragon Ball Z verse into a multiverse. And when they end off with a whole new story, I'm hoping that they're still gonna branch off into the whole multiverse concept of Dragon Ball Z. But now I'm thinking they might not do that. So we're not too sure. And it involves a wish. And we know that there are some wishes that can't be granted because Shenlong has... He, his powers are, are not omniscient. He just can't grant any wish that you want. Like There are some wishes that are outside of his realm. But reviving someone, even that person is far stronger than himself, is possible. So it looks like there's some bad guy, some evil dude, who is... Or woman, it could be a chick, who knows who is revived, according to the text, and Goku and the others are going to have to fight this person. So, this to me is a throw-off, but, because I thought that we were actually going to go with the more Vegeta route, because that's where all of the assumptions and theories and notions that I think were being pushed out there when it came to the next Dragon Ball Z movie, involving more so Vegeta. And it should. But given the teaser trailer, it, again, it's Goku powering up. Like, ah! So, we'll have to wait and see. But right now, that's all we got for today. And well, let's just keep our hopes up. We'll get more news later on during the year, obviously. So, once again, I'll inform you of that news. So, King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.